Hello everyone and welcome to Kiki Crochet. In this video we're going to learn how to crochet a poncho with a Solomon's knot and we are going to make it in small scale and I'm going to give you the instructions how you could make it for a bigger size. Um, even though this project is with the Solomon's knot which is ha which is very um, it has many holes even though uh, we have so many holes by making the Solomon's knot it's it's uh, it would be better in order to make it for spring summer to use either 50% acrylic 50% cotton yarn or 100% cotton yarn because the acrylic yarn even though uh, it might seem very light uh, it'll make you um, hot so it'll make you um, it's going to be pretty warm so it's not going to be um, you're not going to be able to wear it in spring summer so let's see how to start our poncho so I am using a 50% acrylic and 50% uh, cotton yarn and it's called Kartopu it's a Turkish yarn and it's uh, four seasons and I'm going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook so what we need to know in order to start our poncho is that we are going to make the big chains and the big chains have to be an even number but when we split into but when we split those chains we have to have an even number as a result also so let's say 10 is an even number but when you uh, split 10 you have 5 and 5 so that's an odd number we need an even number so we are going to make 12 chains where when you divide 12 by 2 you have 6 on the one side and 6 chains on the other side so you want to be careful I am going to start with my uh, beginning knot and I'm going to make two chains one, two I'm going to skip the first chain and go to the second one and I am going to make a single crochet so I'm going to work my first uh, big chains slowly and then I'm going to move faster so in order to make a big chain for the Solomon's knot just pull your loop and put your thumb in here you want to put your thumb in between the loop and the yarn that you're going to grab and we do that because we want each, each big chain to have the same size so I'm going to grab the yarn from my finger and pull it through the loop and I am going to put my crochet hook inside between those two loops this is the front and this one loop back here is the back so I'm going to put my hook in between those two so what we're really doing is we're substituting our crochet hook for our finger so I'm going to put my hook in here and I'm going to take out my finger I'm going to take the yarn take it under here and I have two loops on my hook uh, wrap the yarn around once pull through those two loops so I just made a single crochet so we want big chains and we want to make one single crochet inside those chains so this was my first chain out of the 12 pull the loop put your thumb in here in between so we have our loop on the front and the yarn that I have on my fingers on the back grab the yarn pull it through the loop put your hook right where you have your thumb in and take out your thumb take the yarn take it under the loop so we have two loops in our hook grab the yarn pull it through those two loops so we just made a single crochet so we have made two big chains so pull your loop put your finger in here in between your loop and the yarn you have on the back grab the yarn pull it through the loop and put your hook right where your thumb is so you're substituting your hook for your thumb grab the yarn 
grab the yarn, pull through those two loops. I hope I'm not uh, mixing up my English. Uh, I think it's right when I say substitute your hook for your thumb. I think, I think that's right when I say it. If not, please correct me under the video. So pull the loop, put your thumb in between, grab the yarn, pull it through the loop, and put your hook right where your thumb is in. So see your thumb is in between those two loops. It's the loop that we have in the beginning and the yarn that you have on your finger. So put your hook right in here. So see how it looks from the back? So when you do that, take the yarn, pull it under the loop. We have two loops, grab the yarn, pull through those two loops. So we have one, two, three, four, big chains and we want um, eight more so pull the loop put your finger in between the loop and the yarn in the back so grab the yarn pull through the loop put your hook right where your thumb is in take out your thumb grab the yarn pull it under the loop we have two loops grab the yarn pull through those two loops to make a single crochet so we have a total of one two three four five so now we're gonna go faster six seven eight oops nine Ten, eleven, and twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So open up your chain. Make sure all of your loops are looking in the same direction. Okay, so close up your chain and put your hook right where you did your first single crochet and make a slip stitch. So we just closed up our chain and this is our slip stitch over here and I have a total of 12 big chains so this is my slip stitch I want to have six after my slip stitch then I'm gonna make my increase and six more after my increase so this is the slip stitch over here and I have one two three four five six big chains so in the single crochet after my sixth chain I am going to place my stitch marker because this is where I am going to work my increase and I'm only going to need to put the stitch marker in for the first row because after that um, we're going to be making this, the uh, increase in the same stitch. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six chains and in the single crochet after the sixth chain I'm going to make my increase and after the increase I have one, two, three, four, five, six chains and this is my slip stitch. So we have made our slip stitch and I'm going to make six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those six chains count as one triple crochet. The four chains count as my triple crochet. And the two chains count as my two chain, uh, my chain two space. So wrap the yarn around your hook twice and put your hook in the same space, in the same stitch where you made your slip stitch and work a triple crochet. So grab the yarn, pull through two loops, next two loops and the last two loops. So we have a V stitch made with triple crochet. After your V stitch, you're always going to be making a regular chain. 
And now we're going to work two big chains. One, two big chains. We are always going to be working two chains. Never one, never three. We are always going to be working two big chains. Every time after and before the increase, we are going to be putting our crochet hook in the single crochet after the first big chain. So this is my first big chain. In the single crochet after that, I'm going to put my hook and I'm going to work a single crochet. Make two big chains. One, two, skip your first big chain, skip the next one, and in the single crochet after the second chain, put your hook and make a single crochet. So when you make a single crochet on top of the single crochet, this is the Solomon's knot or the lover's knot because it seems like a little heart over here. So make two big chains. One, two. Make sure your work doesn't twist. Skip your first big chain, skip the second big chain. <coughs> And in the single crochet, after the second chain, put your hook and work a single crochet. So let me do that step one more time. So work a single crochet on top of the single crochet. So here is the increase and right before the increase I only have one big chain left. You always want to have one big chain left before and after your increase. If you have two big chains that means that you have made a mistake somewhere so you have to be careful. So I'm going to make two big chains Oops. One and two. And I'm going to put my hook in this first, in the single crochet after the first big chain because this is where I had my stitch marker. I am going to wrap the yarn around my, twice around my hook and I'm going to put my hook in this single crochet and I'm going to work a triple crochet. Chain two. Wrap the yarn around twice and work one more triple crochet in this single crochet in here. This way you have the same increase here and the same increase over here too. So make one regular chain after your increase, make two big chains, one two and as we said before after and before before and after our increase we want to put our hook inside the single crochet that's after the first big chain and make a single crochet make two big chain two big chains one two skip the first chain, skip the next one, and in the single crochet after the second big chain, put your hook and make a single crochet. Make two big chains, one and two. Skip the first chain, skip the next one, the second one, and in the single crochet after the second chain, Put your hook and make a single crochet. So make sure your work hasn't twisted. So we see here that we have only one 
big chain left before the increase. So I'm going to work two big chains, one, two, so we have two big chains and I am going to make a slip stitch in the fourth out of the six chains because the fourth chain is my first triple crochet. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four chains. Put your hook in here and make a slip stitch. Put your hook in the chain two space and make another slip stitch and make sit and make six chains one, two, three, four, five, six in order to start the next row. So this is how our poncho looks like so far. So let's start the next row. I have made my six chains. The first four count as my first triple crochet and the next two chains count as my chain two space. Wrap the yarn around twice, put your hook in the same chain two space and make a triple crochet. After each increase we want to make a regular chain. <coughs> Work two big chains one and two. So we have said in, in the previous rows also that after our increase we are always we always want put to put our hook after the single crochet in the single crochet that's after our first big chain. Because we want to have um, the Solomon's knot in every we want to have the Solomon the Solomon's knot done in every single crochet. So after the increase I'm going to skip the first chain and in the single crochet that's after the first chain I am going to put my hook and work a single crochet. Make two big chains one, two. I'm going to skip the first big chain skip the second one and I'm going to put my hook in the single crochet after the second big chain and I'm going to work a single crochet. So you you always know that you have to skip the first chain because we have already made the Solomon's knot in here so you never want to put your hook in the same stitch where, where you have already made your Solomon's knot. You always want to be putting your hook in a single crochet that's standing by itself. So work two big chains, one and two. I'm going to skip the next big chain, the first big chain, skip the second one and in the single crochet after the second big chain, in the single crochet that's standing by itself, I am going to make a single crochet make two big chains, one, two. I am going to skip the first chain where I already have made the Solomon's knot, skip the second chain and in the single crochet bef after the second chain, the one that's standing by itself, I am going to work a single crochet. Make two big chains, one, and two and we see here that we have only one big chain left before the increase. So I am going to wrap the yarn around twice and put my hook in the chain two space and I'm going to work a triple crochet. Chain two, wrap the yarn around twice and work one more triple crochet in the same chain two space make a regular chain after your increase and make two big chains one and two so as we did in the as we did before the increase after the increase
we are going to put our hook in the in the single crochet after the first big chain make two big chains one and two skip the first big chain skip the next one and in the single crochet after the first after the second big chain the one standing here by itself we're going to work a single crochet make two big chains one and two skip the first chain see here we have already made the Solomon's knot skip the second chain in the single crochet after the second chain make a single crochet make two big chains one and two skip the first big chain skip the second one and in the single crochet after the second chain I am going to work a single crochet make two big chains one and two and we are left with one chain and our increase so as we said in the previous rows we always want to have only one chain one big chain before and after our increase so we have one chain I am going to put my hook in the fourth out of the six chains and I'm going to work a slip stitch work a slip stitch in the chain two space and make one two three four five six chains to start your next row so up until you finish your uh, poncho you are always going to be following the same exact steps we never change our steps we always start with six chains make a triple crochet in the same chain two space make a regular chain after every increase always work two big chains and after your increase you always want to work a single crochet after your first big chain same thing before the same thing applies in the increase down here so this is how our poncho looks like so far let's work one or two more rows so the instructions are clearer so wrap the yarn around twice put your hook in the same chain two space and work a triple crochet make a regular chain after your increase make two big chains one and two so we are going to work a single crochet after the first big chain in the single crochet standing here by itself make two big chains one and two skip the next big chain see we already have made the Solomon's knot over here skip the second big chain and in the single crochet after the second chain the one standing by itself make a single crochet make two big chains one and two skip the first big chain see we have already we've already made the Solomon's knot in here and go in the single crochet that's after the second chain and work a single crochet make two big chains one two skip the next big chain we've already made the knot over here so go in the single crochet after the second chain and work a single crochet one 
and two single crochet. Skip the single oops. Skip the skip the um, single crochet that's after the first big chain. Skip the second chain and put your hook in the single crochet that's after your second big chain, the one standing by itself. Over here and make a single crochet. And now we have reached in the where we have to make our increase and see we have left only one big chain before the increase. So make two big chains. One and two. Wrap the yarn around twice, skip the chain and put your hook in the chain two space and work a triple crochet. Chain two, wrap the yarn around twice and work one more triple crochet in the same chain two space. Chain one, so you make a regular chain after your increase, make two big chains, one and two. So we're going to skip this first chain, we're going to put our hook in the single crochet after the first big chain, the one standing here by itself. So we always want to have one chain before and one chain after our increase. So work a single crochet, make two big chains, one and two big chains, skip the first chain, see so we'll, we've already made the knot over here, go to the single crochet after the second chain, put your hook in there and make a single crochet. Make two big chains, one and two. Skip the first chain, go to the single crochet after the second chain and make a single crochet. Make two big chains, one two, skip the first chain, see we, we've already made the knot, and go to the chain after, uh, to the single crochet after the second chain and make a single crochet, make two big chains, one and two, skip the next chain, go to the chain after that, and make a single crochet after the second chain. Make a single crochet on top of the single crochet that's after the second chain. So we have reached uh, at the point where we have our increase, so we are only left with one big chain before our increase. So make two big chains, one and two, Okay, so be careful because it's very easy to twist. So we have made two big chains. We are left with only one big chain down here. So skip this chain and put your hook in the fourth chain out of the six because this is your triple crochet. Okay, so at this point, um, I have made, after I uh, completed the rows that we did on camera, I made two extra rows so we can see how um, how our poncho will look like when we keep um, crocheting. So this is how our poncho will look like. It's a very nice and easy pattern. Also Solomon's knot, um, it doesn't take too much yarn to complete so you can save a lot of yarn and make a very nice poncho. So what I would like to show is uh, the last row of our poncho, how it's supposed to be. So as I said, from the beginning to the end, we follow the same exact steps uh, as we are completing our rows. The only thing uh, in the last row of our poncho, what we want to do in order for the um, increases here, the, the pointy parts over here, instead of making them look 
like a uh, square because it's kind of square down here it looks like a squarey um, edging instead of making two big chains on the one side of the increase and two big chains on the other side of the increase what we're going to do is we are only going to make one big chain and then our increase this way we're going to have a more pointy edging to our poncho so I have already made I made two extra rows and have already made my slip stitch in the fourth chain also I have made my slip stitch inside this chain two space on my V stitch so what we're going to do is I'm going to make my six chains one two three four five six wrap the yarn around twice and make a triple crochet inside the chain two space always make one regular chain after your V stitch and what I'm gonna do instead of making two big chains and single crochet in here I'm gonna make only one big chain and this only applies to the last row of our poncho so only one big chain and I'm gonna make a single crochet in the stitch after my first big chain so this is how it looks and then after that I keep making the same steps as on the previous rows I always make two big chains one two skip the first big chain and the second one and make a single crochet in the single crochet after the second big chain two big chains one two and make a single crochet on the second after the second big chain one two big chains and make a single crochet on the single crochet after the second big chain one two big chains and make a single crochet on the stitch after the second big chain so keep making the same steps up until we reach our increase where again before and after the increase I am going to work only one big chain in order to make the edging look pointier want it to look more triangular since we're making a poncho one two big chains make a single crochet after the second big chain so see here we're left with one big chain over here and on the previous rows we were always making two big chains and then my V stitch what I'm gonna do now as I did in the beginning of my row I am only going to make one big chain wrap the yarn around my hook twice and make a triple crochet inside the chain two space chain two wrap the yarn around twice and one more triple crochet inside the chain two space make a regular chain after the V stitch and as I did here the same thing I'm gonna do after the V stitch I'm only going to make one big chain and instead of two that I was doing in the previous row I am only going to make one big chain and make a single crochet on this single crochet over here so one big chain so before and after our V stitch we want to make only one big chain in the last row and make a single crochet after your first big chain and now keep making two big chains in single crocheting on the single crochet that's after the second big chain as we were doing in all the previous rows
one, two big chains in single crochet. One, two big chains in single crochet. One, two big chains in single crochet. One, two big chains, oops, and single crochet, and we're almost done. One, two big chains, single crochet on the stitch after the second big chain. And as always, we are left with only one big chain in the end. And as I did in the beginning and in the increase down here, we are only going to make one big chain instead of two that we were doing in the previous rows. And I'm going to count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and make a slip stitch. And I'm going to, oops. So slip stitch, chain one, and in order to finish, cut your yarn, pull the loop, tighten up, and secure the yarn over here. So this is how our poncho looks like, and see how that we made the edges a little pointier instead of square like that were in the previous rows due to the increases. So in order to finish your um, poncho, you can add fringes on the Solomon knot and on the, on the single crochet here standing by itself. If you do not want to put um, fringes on here, you can add them only on the single crochet that, that are standing by themselves. And we also want to add fringes on the chain 2 space to pull down and make it um, make the point more visible, the pointy part more visible. Um, what we want, we want the length of our poncho to be without the fringes up until our belt line or a little longer and then you want to add the fringes which will add more um, more length to our poncho. But we want to put uh, many fringes on each stitch so it'll help our Solomon stitch to open up and look nice when we wear it. And a little recap as um, on the um, information that I gave in the beginning of the of the video, we want it, when we start making this poncho, we want um, because each one of us have a, a different size of thumb when we make the Solomon's knot. So it's not easy for me to say start with uh, 20 chains or 32 chains to make a size medium or large, etc. Uh, just make the beginning chain with the big chains as big as the head circumference of the person you're making this poncho for. So, um, and then depending on their size, you're going to make the increases, you're going to keep making rows of increases up until um, their belt line. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you like the video. Uh, I would uh, be more than happy to see the pictures of your finished poncho in my page. If you type Kiki Crochet, you'll find my page. You'll also find the link under the video on the About section. Thanks again. Bye-bye.